All right, guys, I thought I was going to go to bed, but I'm still awake, so I thought I'd just give me my thoughts on this match as well. Um, this match for me, or this this rivalry, actually, we saw it on left and right uh, between uh, Irina Drieva and uh, Sarah Bachman. That was, for me, the match of the night. Uh, I loved what I saw uh, in round one, particularly when Irina forced the issue into that inside position, drove sideways, and Sarah caught. Oh, my goodness, it was awesome stuff to see. Um, Sarah, be able to dig the match back from there and just impressive that Arena was able to force the issue the way she did. For me, that match really demonstrated exactly how much of an arm wrestler Sarah really is. We saw so many technical adjustments from her. I love the way she adjusted in round two and pulled out for flash pin with this, with this thumb-based pronation and this stop. Oh, it was awesome, this flop roll. Um, it seriously was amazing arm wrestling. I love the way that then we saw Arena make adjustments as well. She knew that that was a risk and she came up high and she started to counter up there and then Sarah slammed sideways. It really was one of the most technically um, diverse matches that, I, that we saw in the card and I think it probably, uh, like I said, for me was the best match in terms of entertaining and technical and just back and forth. Really did um, take my hat off to Arena for putting up a fight but what was super exciting was seeing Sarah just demonstrate her, not only strength, but her ability across so many different positions. She arm wrestled in so many different ways and uh, countered in so many different ways, put up defensive blocks. She looks super comfortable in a defensive position. Um, and to me, Irina Drieva arm wrestled a lot like Gabriela Vasconcelos does. Obviously, Gabriela is going to be stronger. She is the true number one in the world. But it was so awesome to see Sarah pull the way she did. And, and uh, I think, oh my goodness, we're talking King of the Table 2. King of the Table 2 needs to have Sarah and Gabby. Again, Sarah and Gabby. Just left and right. Let's do it. Sarah and Gabby, we need to see it. Uh, it'll be awesome. And uh, like I said, I'll do a breakdown of this video as well because it was just spectacular arm um, wrestling across the board. I really did enjoy it. And um, yeah, I will do a full breakdown. But not just yet. I'm going to go to bed. Really soon. All right, guys. See ya.